Good afternoon, dear students, parents, and the participants of Russian Education Fair. We present to you the Perm State Medical University. We have the representative from Perm State Medical University, the Deputy Dean for Foreign Students, Yana Nikolaevna. So I request Yana Nikolaevna to please address the audience and to inform them about Perm State Medical University and the facilities being provided by Perm State Medical University for Indian students. I request all the students to write their questions in the comments section. By the end of this video, we will try to answer all your questions. Thank you so much. And I really thank Yana Nikolaevna for her time. And uh, ma'am, over to you. You can start the presentation. Uh, thank you, Dr. Dinesh. Uh, thank you very much. I would like to uh, congratulate all of you with this uh, interesting event, uh, with this um, international uh, fair market. And uh, I would like to thank Rose Education because uh, today when I uh, saw this educational fair uh, platform, this website, I was very impressed. I think it's very modern, uh, cool, and design is very nice. And today we are going to talk about our university, Perm State Medical University. But at the beginning, like a small introduction, I would like to tell some words about just education in Russia. I know that today uh, at afternoon there was a session, a webinar about just uh, benefits of education in Russia. And uh, uh, some of you have already got much more information. But I want to pay your attention just on some points. And as from my side, these points are very interesting and they are very uh, important for, for all of us. Uh, speaking about Russia and speaking about laws of Russia, the main educational law in Russia is the federal law number uh, 273. And if we take this law and just translate some points from the first page, we can find very interesting positions. For example, point number one. Uh, here you can read that every person have chance, have possibility and have right for education in Russia. It doesn't mention nationality, citizenship, um, age, sex and so on. Just according to main federal law, every person has rights for education in Russia. And position number five from my side is very interesting and important too because here it's written that Russian Federation should create affordable conditions for the integration of education system of Russian Federation with the education system of other countries. It means that even in main educational law it's written that we should communicate in level of education and we should integrate our educational system to other countries. Uh, now let's talk more about our university, Perm State Medical University. First of all, I want to tell that this very old university with a big history. It was founded in 1916 in Rome, so you can see that our university is more than 100 years old. And we are the only medical university in Russia with two residence commendations. We were honored twice by President of Vladimir Putin, and we are proud of it. In our university nowadays, there are more than 2,000 international students from 29 eight countries. Uh, you see, it's a very big 
international society and most students are inmates. Near 1,300 1, students are Indians and other stu students from other countries and other nations. In our university, there are more than 60 different departments, theoretical and practical departments, uh, clinical basis. Today, I will tell about this basis too a little bit. And nowadays, there are two uh, courses that are available in English language. You can study in medical faculty. Duration of this education is six years. Or you can become a dentist in a dental faculty. Duration is five years. All period of your study, full education in English medium. Also, we have trainings of doctors in residency, postgraduate courses, and PhD for doctors. It's interesting fact that first foreign student who graduated from our university in 1996 was Indian citizen. And nowadays, this Indian doctor has its own private clinic in India. Uh, he's working as a doctor and we have a very good relationship and we know that everything is good in his career. If you want to apply to our university, what documents do you need? First of all, you need to submit 10th and 12th mark sheet with translation. Translation should be in Russian. The same, you need to have international passport and uh, some pages of your passport should be translated into Russian. Usually our partners with education help us uh, to translate all documents uh, in such a way as we need. Also, you should have medical certificate. Uh, and it's very important that you should have negative HIV report. It is important not only for medical certificate, but for your uh, future visa too. Also, it's better to take uh, four photos with you. Sometimes um, photos uh, we should change here, but it's better to take them because we need photos for your future student's ID, credit card, your deal, and some other documents. What documents university should provide to do? First of all, we provide admission letter for students who would like to join our university. Admission process has already started. It means that even today you can apply to Rose Education and after that we will make admission for you. After that, when we will get uh, your passport details, we can make invitation letter. According uh, with the help of invitation letter and some other documents, um, our colleagues from Rose Education uh, can make invitation visa uh, for you and this invitation visa uh, is for three months. You can be in Russia with this visa for three months. After arriving to Perm, we should prolongate this visa. When you became first year student, we should make you new visa for one year. So we should be prepared that in one year you will get two visas and after that each year we have to make new visa for you from first year students second third fourth and so on uh it's not very useful sometimes and nowadays russian government is discussing the question that maybe soon uh we will make one visa for foreign students for five or six years. We really hope uh, that this law uh, uh, will be taken and that soon we will have one visa for foreign students for six years. Also, it's very important to know that in Russia, 
you should have registration in place where you live. All first year students usually live in hostels uh, that are provided by uh, university together with resource education. And uh, we make registration for you in these hostels. Also, uh, you should go under the medical checkup control. So when you will come here in Bonn, you should undergo medical checkup in university or the clinic. Uh, very often students have questions about duration and, st and starting of academic years. So academic year starts from 1st of November for the first year students and from 1st of September for all other students. It's like a rule, no other options, no other variants for foreign students uh, with uh, English medium course, first course, 1st November, after that, 1st September. All should be here till these dates. Very often you have questions about vacations, uh, when you will have them. Uh, you have vacations two times per year, winter vacations uh, in January, near one week, 10 days, and also summer vacations in August. In July, you have summer practice in hospitals. Uh, sometimes uh, you, you can choose, in fact, uh, you may have this summer practice in Perm, in our clinics, or you can go in India and you can have summer practice in Indian hospitals. It's also possible. Uh, also, as you understand, if you are a student, you will have lots of exams and credits. Uh, speaking about our university, you will have final credit test after each cycle of each subject. It means that at the end of the year, in credit book, here it's shown, it's very end of the credit book, you should have signed credits for all subjects. Uh, in credit, there is no MAC. It's just you passed or did it. But also, there are some subjects where, uh, in which you will give exams. And usually there are near two to five exams in each semester. It means that, for example, when you are a student of first course, at the end of first course, you will have exam in biology and chemistry. Exam is uh, with marks. You can get different marks, unsatisfied, satisfied, good and excellent mark. For exams, you have three attempts. Unfortunately, if you fail all three attempts, you have to restrict it and you have to leave university. That's why you should study hard, you should prepare for all subjects and also, you should attend all classes. It is impossible for doctor to uh, tell to a patient, oh, I don't know how to treat your disease. I was ill in this period of time. I didn't attend classes. I had birthday, marriage ceremony, and so on. So it means that in medical university, it's very important to attend all classes, all courses, and be a hard worker student. Uh, let's stop to talk about university a little bit and let's talk about Perm City. Because I told many times today that I am representative of Perm State Medical University and I think that you are interested where is Perm is located. Uh, Perm is a big city uh, in the European part of the Russia, near the Ural Mountains. 
You may ask me about weather and climate in uh, our city. Um, I can tell you that we have four absolutely different seasons, summer, autumn, winter and spring. Uh, during winter, uh, temperature can be minus 15, minus 20, minus 30 even. It's lots of snow and it's rather cold. That's why for sure you have to uh, buy warm clothes here. But we have central heating in all buildings in your hostel so inside it's always warm condition even hot uh summer in russia is very good um plus uh, 20 25 degrees and uh, many our foreign students in fact like climate and weather in prom city and they told that uh, climate here is even better than climate in india not so hot Also, last year, uh, we made many um, uh, online sessions. Uh, we made many videos together with the certification. And um, in the Instagram, and I think that in YouTube of Rose Education, you can find small tour around Bum City. It was a small video that is created by our members. Uh, where we show location of the dean's office, location of the hostels, uh, some buildings and sightseeing of the Perm city. So you can watch it and get more information about our city, uh, it's, um, how it looks like and so on. You may ask me how to get from India to Perm. Uh, in Perm, there is international airport, and even we have direct flights from Perm to Goa or from Goa to Perm. Unfortunately, nowadays these flights are not regular because of pandemia, but I really hope that soon the situation will be better, and maybe some of you will go directly from Goa to Perm city. Uh, also, uh, Perm is not so far from the Moscow. It takes me uh, uh, two hours from Moscow to Perm by plane. We always meet all our new students in the airport. Uh, members of the dean's office, uh, our helpers and so on. And here you can see photos of our airport. And here you can see Photos of first year students uh, who came in our uh, city just some months ago. You know that this year borders were closed and uh, first year students studied their education online, but now all of them are in Perm and they have offline usual classes. In fact, it was not so easy to organize um, travel, uh, to organize trip of first year students from India to Perm. I want to uh, tell thank you to Rose Education because they find different ways. Some students were coming by plane, some students were coming by trains and even by buses. And here you can see two photos. One, it's first year students, new batch in our airport. And second photo, it's students who came by train from Moscow and we made photo at the railway station. All students, all international students nowadays who are coming to Russia have to give PCR test in 72 hours after arriving in Russia. Uh, but uh, they even don't uh, should go anywhere to do it. Uh, there is agreement uh, between private clinic and uh, administration of the host hostel. So doctors just come in the hostel and make PCR test. So it's very easy and students shouldn't look for any clinics, laboratories where to give it. Uh, 
and we started to talk about pandemia and COVID situation. That's why, in any case, I think that I should tell some words about it too. Uh, this year, we were thinking how to protect our students, how to make their studying safety. Uh, in uh, September, October, November, all classes for all students were online. After some students started to come in home, and nowadays, first year students and six year students have offline classes. We think that it's the most important for a new bunch of the students and for students who are graduating to have usual offline classes in a regular mode. All these students have negative PCR test that they did here and they were under the quarantine for two weeks. Also, masks, gloves and sanitizers are available in all hostels and all university buildings. Uh, ad uh, administration of the hostel uh, organized temperature measurement. And that is very important, as I think rose education provides very good and full medical insurance for all students. Even if some students are ill, uh, they are COVID positive, they can go directly to the hospital and they shouldn't pay any additional money for it. They will get all necessary uh, help and it will be according insurance and according medical policy. It's very important nowadays and in fact it's very important in uh, other situations too. Some words I want to tell about vaccination. Uh, you know that uh, process of vaccination is started all over the world. I know that big percentage of people is vaccinated in India, the same in Russia. And we vaccinated many foreign students in our university for free this year too. Uh, we are planning that most of the students, I can tell all students, uh, who attend classes from 1st September should be vaccinated. Also, more than 50% of the teachers and university staff is vaccinated too, or has immunity. And uh, Rector is planning that more than 70% of the teachers should be vaccinated before 1st of September. And now some more words about education in our university. Once again, I want to uh, tell you that um, we have theoretical classes that are in English and practical classes that are in English too in best hospitals of our city. Full period of education is in English medium and you have all necessary textbooks in English, in printed variant, or in electronic version too. For example, just yesterday I made this screenshot uh, when I just started to work uh, in uh, university, it was five years ago, I asked Rus Education to share with me literature, uh, to share with me textbooks uh, that uh, I can use in my practice as a teacher. And um, they gave me the same uh, pen drive as they provide to all of uh, their students. And I found here big amounts of materials. In fact, lots of different textbooks. It means that even first year student can get all necessary textbooks. They are provided by Rus Education and you can use the Seminole library too. You can go in the library and find any necessary material in English that you need. 
Uh, nowadays, many students prefer to use uh, electronic version of textbooks. It's very useful, I think. Uh, but if you want printed variants, uh, there are not so many examples of it, but you can find for you. Uh, some words I want to tell about uh, Department of Russian Language and Education um, in Russian. You don't have any classes in Russian, but you have to know Russian language. This will help you to communicate uh, with people in shops, in buses, in railways. This will help you to find new friends among Russian students and this will help you to communicate in hospitals. Because if you want to talk with Russian patients, you have to know Russian language. We have separate department of Russian language. And from first till fifth course, you have Russian language classes. It's very important for you to know language of our country. It's not so easy to study, but I think when you know uh, Russian language, it gives you many benefits. Uh, here you can see some photos on, of some classrooms. And also last year, uh, we made some videos, and we made some excursions in anatomy and in histology department. Uh, and also, if you want, you can watch online tour of morphological building where you can find anatomy and histology department. Uh, I think uh, this video, video should be available in uh, an Instagram or YouTube channel of first education. Uh, many students are asking about FMJ classes because we understand that in any case, Systems of education are a little bit different in Russian and in English, and you uh, have to study some things from uh, Indian point of view, from point of view from of Indian professors. Uh, each year, you will have FMJ classes in three to four different subjects. Uh, usually, uh, teachers came for that, but this year, all FMJ classes were online. And, you know, I think it's a great benefit to have a chance to participate in such kind of classes just in online regime, online mode. You don't need to go anywhere. You just should open your laptop or take your phone and you can um, listen lecture from Indian professor and you can get all necessary information that you need. I think it's a very good benefit and maybe we can use it for future too because uh, sometimes it's not easy to organize uh, travel, uh, it's not easy to find big room where all students can sit, but online variant of FMJ classes, I liked it a lot. And I told today many things about education online and I would like to add some points uh, so you can understand how we organized it in our university. Uh, in our university we have special online platform, special online website, system of digital learning. Uh, University IT department organized support of, uh, of this online platform in Russian and in English too. In this platform, you can find all materials for all classes. You can uh, make tests, tasks and uh, quiz in different subjects. And also there is a, a webinar platform so teachers can communicate with you online and read lectures. Uh, this uh, website is also very useful and um, for sure you need practical knowledge. You should uh, work with your hands, you should hold to the hospitals. But some materials 
still will be available in this website. I'm absolutely sure that all new students will have login and password for this website too. And you can download textbooks, lectures, materials, you can uh, solve some quiz, tests, and so on. And it can be a very good variant of practice. Uh, we have agreements with many clinics in uh, our Palm City. Here you can see some photos of it. And all our foreign students can study in more than 30 clinical bases. Also, we have agreements with Indian hospitals for summer practice, as I told you. And moreover, uh, our university has high qualified simulation center. What does it mean? Here you can see some photos from this center. There are models of patients with different diseases, models of um, uh, some clinical situations and so on. And you can practice on it. It's very interesting, I think. Uh, and sometimes before coming to real patient, you need to practice with robot. That's why we have this center. And uh, the same again, <laughs> there is a small video online tour in this center of practical skills and abilities. And you can find information about it in Instagram and uh, YouTube of First Education. Uh, you can ask me why, in my opinion, we have so good simulation center in our university. Um, the reason is, in Perm City, we have one of the leading robotics companies, and this company provides robots for all over the world. Uh, it makes patient robots that help students to make diagnosis, and here you can see such kind of patient. His name is Yuri. He is able to speak. He can uh, tell his complaints. And using special computer, students can make a diagnosis. Some students want to participate not just in regular classes, but in some scientific events. It's possible in our university because, in fact, in each department there is student scientific society. Some of them are more developed, some of them are less developed, but all are ready to work with students. In these uh, student scientific societies, you can make experiments, participate in different exhibitions, conferences, make publication in scientific international journals, and so on. And very interesting point, it's nursing exam. After third year, when you completed three years, you can um, take the exam to work as a nurse in a hospital. Uh, there are two parts in this exam, theoretical and practical part. If you pass both parts, you can make a diploma uh, as your certificate nurse. And according to rules of Russian Federation nowadays, foreign students can officially work and get salary in Russia. This salary will not be so big. It's not doctor's salary for sure. But in your free time, you can officially work. And for example, here you can see two photos. It's our fifth year student, uh, Nishant. He uh, passed this nursing exam uh, just two or three months ago. And now, as you can see, he is working in a Russian hospital officially. I think it's interesting and it makes benefits for many students. Also, even in this year, our university and our students take part in many Olympiads and competitions that were held in online regime, in online mode. For example, at these photos, you can see winners of a Russian language Olympiad 
with rector of Penn State Medical University. Uh, as you can see, there are different uh, foreign students, but most of them are Indians. Also, our university have agreement with uh, many um, international hospitals in different countries. And there is a special international exchange program for students. You can take part in it and practice in hospitals and universities of Europe, Asia and Latin America. Usually, every year, more than 30 students participate in this exchange program. For this, you should pass language exam and uh, just have good marks and good attendance in all classes. So only excellent student can go uh, for these exchange programs. Uh, some of them for free, some of them are not for free, um, but it's a great experience in any case. Uh, unfortunately, last year, all uh, exchanging um, situations were closed. But as I know, even this summer, some of our students are going to some countries uh, because nowadays border starts to open and even uh, next week uh, Russia will have their flights with Italy and some other countries as I remember. So our students can continue this exchanging program. Uh, we told much with you about documents, about studying, um, that it's very important part of your life. But in any case, we understand that you all are young people and you need to have some time for your hobbies and so on. That's why we are trying to organize very interesting life for our students. We always celebrate national Indian festivals like Holi and Diwali. We organize concerts. Uh, last year, many students uh, stayed in Perm for summer vacations and 15th of uh, August, we celebrated Independence Day. There was a concert uh, at the open stage and all students uh, took part in it. Uh, this year we are going to organize such kind of concert again. Um, I think it's a very interesting event and uh, all Russian students and all teachers of our university like to uh, visit such kind of events. Uh, also, in our city there is very famous uh, and good theatre, Perm Tchaikovsky Opera and Ballet Theatre. I think that you know that Russia is famous of its opera and ballet culture. And uh, um, we had uh, experience when our students participated in a ballet performance called La Baeta. Here you can see some photos of these students. Um, theater made costumes for them, especially for our students. Uh, and I think it was nice integration of the cu uh, culture. It's impossible to discuss all events that we have uh, in our university, like extracurricular activities. Each year there are lots of different championships, poetry championship, chess championship, and so on. And moreover, uh, there is a very uh, developed and high qualified part of volunteering work. And we think that it's very important for future doctors to take part in volunteering programs too. And sport, young people can't live without sport activities. Uh, that's why there are lots of sports um, teams in our university. You can play basketball, football, uh, tennis, and so on. And moreover, we are trying to 
uh, have regular championships in cricket between universities. We have our cricket team uh, and you can become a member of this team. Uh, we know that cricket is national game of many Indian students uh, and Indian people in general. That's why you're welcome, you can come and become a part of it. Uh, also, we have our university newspaper. And in this newspaper, there is a special page in English for our international students. Here you can see it. It is in both languages. So each uh, article is translated in Russian and in English too. Uh, it's very interesting. This newspaper is regular. We have it each month. And each month you can find some news about um, your, you, your friends, international students, just uh, situation in the world and so on. Uh, very often students are asking about hostels and condition in dormitories. Uh, first of all, I want to pay your attention that uh, we have some different hostels, but all these hostels have very good location in the center of the city. In most uh, departments, you can go by foot. It's really very good places. And even I a little bit jealous to the students because it takes me one hour to come from my uh, flat to uh, Dean's office. And our students can go just by foot. Uh, in hostels, they have Indian mess and Indian food. It's available. And also there are some uh, hostels when, uh, where students can cook themselves. Uh, not in all hostels it's possible, uh, but there are places when students can cook. Very important, uh, as I think, that there are divisions into female and male buildings. We have separate hostel only for girls, where girls can live separately from its boys. Uh, here you can see some photos of the rooms. I think they all are rather comfortable, clean, uh, with their own um, uh, toilet and shower. So conditions are rather good, as I think. Uh, and, in fact, uh, on Monday, our six-year students who graduate from Perm State Medical University will have final exams this year. Uh, they will have final exam, and after that, these students will get their diplomas. We really hope that three students uh, will get a red diploma this year. What does it mean, red diploma? It is excellent diploma. Uh, and in this diploma, you must have at least 75% of excellent marks in all subjects. Other marks can be good. Uh, this bunch of six-year students is not so big. Uh, it's just near, it's just 19 students. Uh, but I think that three students with excellent results among a group of 19 students, it's rather really good a result. And all of you are always interested in um, result of FMGA result, uh, how you will work in India, how you will pass it, what you will do after that in India. Unfortunately, we still don't have results of the last year students, but I can tell you that our students who graduated in 2019, they all passed this exam and nowadays they are doctors in India. Um, that was all uh, information that I wanted to tell you about our university. In fact, there are lots of details and after coming here you will see 
uh, that there is a big amount of information that you should know. But I started to pay your attention at main points. I want to tell that we are always proud of our students and I want to welcome all of you in our Perm State Medical University. And now, if you have any questions, I am ready to answer your questions. Please. Thank you so much, Yana Nikolaevna. Thank you so much for giving, introducing Perm State Medical University for Indian students. And uh, you have briefly uh, told them about all the aspects, including the study pattern, how the departments are, what all facilities and infrastructure you have regarding their teaching. The university library is so full of books in English language. And almost all the questions that I see uh, have been answered. Uh, there were main questions regarding the medium of instruction, but you had a separate slide for that and you have cleared their doubts. And I hope uh, the students got to know a lot about Perm State Medical University, the education, the student life and everything. So once again, I thank you, Yana Nikolaevna. And for the students, if you have still any questions, you can just write us in the comment section. In our next session, we will clear all your doubts and uh, your questions regarding Perm State Medical University. So thank you, Yana Nikolaevna, for joining us today and addressing the Indian students. And for the students, I would like to thank you for joining the session. And uh, I hope we were able to tell you about Perm State Medical University. For admissions, you can contact Roos Education Office. You can locate your nearest office from our website, www.rooseducation.in or you can call us on our student helpline number that is 1-800-833-3338 and confirm your admission from the same. Thank you so much everyone for joining our session and thank you Yana Nikolaevna for addressing the audience. We'll see you soon all in the next sessions. Till then, stay safe and take care of your health. Best of luck. Thank you Dr. Dinesh and goodbye. Goodbye all of you.